Okay, and uh, welcome back. And we left with uh, we're creating a void uh, deposit, double amount, and um, it's like this. And we um, do like this. So, uh, what does this do? Now we have a void instead. So, this void it tells the computer that it doesn't have to return any information. And um, the name deposit should tell us why it doesn't have to return any information. We just deposit a number so it just gets the input, which is the. Um, the, the um, which is this? The double. So it's a double. Uh, and we call it amount. So we store it in the variable amount. So this can be a decimal number. Possible that it is a decimal number because it's a double. Um, all right. So it's not returning, so we don't have to write return anything. But it takes in information, so we have to um, deal with this. Uh, that it takes in. What are we going to do with it now? Deposit. Um, that should give us give us give us a clue because we go to the bank and we deposit some money, um, which means we gave the the bank person some money and they put it in they should put it into our account um hopefully and um so all we have to do is to add the amount that's going in um which is this one to our balance which is this one and um how do we do that we just plus it that's so simple um so i just write balance equals and what is equals it equals um itself whatever it, it it already has of money plus the amount that it's going to uh receive and end with semicolon always so this is how we'll write it um for now and um so doesn't return anything only gets piece of uh information which is uh type double and stores it in the uh, variable amount and this variable amount is being plus the balance here so that should be clear and we, I'll show you again when we create uh, when we work with the other uh, bank class um, so let's move on to the next one what does it say public void withdraw now this is just um, And this actually might seem a bit illogical uh, that withdraw again is a void; it doesn't return anything, because we would think that if we withdraw something, we should get the money in our hands. But this is just uh, um, a school uh, assignment, so we shouldn't worry, think too much about it. So when we would withdraw, the money just disappears from our account, and we'll we imagine that they turn up in our hands or something. So. It might seem a bit unintuitive that uh, um, happens like this only. Um, and double amount. All right. So far, so good. And it should just do the opposite of the other one. It should rem uh, with remove money from the uh, account. So I just copy paste, mark the text, control C, control V. Just copy paste and uh, change the uh, very important change the plus sign to a minus sign. So now I mentioned something that I it's time to mention that um, you see these actually call the same thing amount amount. It doesn't matter because if we uh, create or define which sure, it's just called create a variable a uh, double variable here. In a different methods, so let me just. Um, I think there's a way to make a straight line. I uh, don't no mind. Like this. So, these variables, even though they're called the same thing, they won't have any connection uh, between them. So, this is what we call local variables. And I can type it in local variables. So, um, so that that like this is why I made this extended a bit like this wall between the methods that the uh, the variables they're not uh, connected in any way so don't worry about about that um, 
it's only when we uh, when we have them defined up here in the uh, in the main class. Uh, sorry, not the main class, but in the class in the class that uh, we end the class here, and uh, um, that we these variables with uh, they are very av available. Um, like to be used here. So when we just create a variable like this inside a method, it's not we cannot use it inside another method. It has to be created up in the uh, here. Um, or even no, don't mind. I won't confuse you. Um, let's just leave it at that. Okay. So um, are we clear what's going on? Yeah. This is just plain mathematics plus minus. All right, and the the last one is a public string get name, and this is also um, string get uh, name returns the name, um, and I remember the parentheses this time. Remembered, and it complains. And why does it complain? Because there is no uh, return statement yet. So return name, and now it's happy. So when we call that method, it will give back the name. And method calls is for uh the next video I think let's see what the what our checklist says um, so we've done all that so let's move down two string method no it, we have to create a two string method first so uh, yeah it's a method let's do that in this video as well implement a two string method nicely formatted and from the baby project do you remember maybe you do that the two string we just put in the end um, I don't think it has to be in the end, but we we'll just put it in the end. It's good. Then we know where to look for it. And what should it do? It should return the information of the the class of the object created from the class. So, and um, if I remember correctly, um, return. Uh, let's just say name to see if it works. Uh, yeah, nicely formatted. Um, I don't know. We did that in the baby project, and I think we've done enough with that. So let's just uh, what can we do? Um, plus, let's just make like a space between. So even though you see nothing here, it's actually uh, let me zoom in a bit. Uh, so here, there's actually a space there. Um, so name and then a space and then um, plus balance. Uh, should we make a dollar sign? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, we can, uh, we can find it on the keyboard. Yeah, so great. So uh, name, space, and then balance followed by dollar sign. Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough for uh, for this one. And um, let me delete this text because we don't need it anymore. Um, public string to string. And this should be enough for this uh, video. So for the next one, we'll move on to the band class and uh, work with that. So uh, bye for now.